Hi, and welcome back to Heart and Soul Homes. My name is Monica. Today I'm taking on a super fun project that I've been wanting to do for a while, but just haven't got to it. And it's been a beautiful couple days, and I'm just going to go ahead and get in and get going on it. This is my grandmother's uh, desk, and I am going to be refurbishing it. The process that I'm going to use is the uh, Easy Off oven cleaner to strip down to its natural wood. Um, for this, what I've seen uh, recommended is that you use the heavy duty yellow can, not the fume free. Um, so I went ahead and got that. Um, make sure when you're doing a project like this that you do it outside. Um, where it's very ventilated because this this smell is very strong. I used gloves and I also used a mask, but I was outside on my back patio. Um, and that's important because you don't want to be inhaling these fumes. So the process I used, I've never done this before, this was new to me, is I would drench it all over, um, all over the, you know, on the wood. This again is a very old piece and I wasn't sure, you know, the varnishes that, you know, used to be used and all that kind of stuff. I wasn't sure, um, but I just drenched it and then I would wait, let it just, you know, soak in there for a couple hours and then I would come back uh, spray it down, um, scrape, um, you know, stain and varnish off, um, and just repeat. And as I kind of expected, uh, 
this being such an old piece, the varnish and the stain, I don't know how many layers of stain were on this piece. And the fact that, um, you know, the different kind of varnishes they used, you know, back then, oh my gosh, it was like it was never ending. And to get into all the little nooks and crannies, I spent two days, I pulled out the sanders, I pulled out hand sanders, you know, um, just to get in there and, and do my best to get it down all, because my whole plan was to have it all natural wood. Well, after two days, I just said, forget this. And I decided I think it would be beautiful. I loved the top. Um, and I had a beautiful cream um, paint that I thought would be beautiful, a nice contrast. So I went ahead and ended up painting the bottom half, um, the creamy white. And then I also uh, just left, you know, and sealed off the top because I loved that two-tone. I went ahead and added a sealer to the top of the wood. Um, just to make sure, you know, water or anything would get on there that it that had a good seal on it and for dusting. And um, I will show you the products I used, but um, I love it. I love these um, painting, this paint. It is Rethunk Junk. I will show you here the um, pictures of the products. I use this in two of my pieces um, in my dining room, my chest that I painted this creamy white, and then also the Facebook Market corner cabinet that I found and I painted in a charcoal color. Um, I'll show you those pieces right here as well. Um, I love this paint. Um, it is a three-step process. You spray it down, clean the, you know, whatever you're gonna be painting uh, with this spray. Uh, you don't have to primer. You don't have to do anything. You just make sure your your um, whatever you're painting is clean with this product. Uh, you paint. It's a resin based paint, um, and then you put on this uh, flat top. I think it's called, and it's kind of a milky consistency. And it that's your sealer, and that is it. The paint goes a long way, um, and it gives wonderful wonderful coverage. Um, so I highly recommend this. I get this on her website, um, and it, I've used it multiple times and it's been fantastic. Okay. So this is the final, final product and I am so excited. It wasn't exactly, you know, what I envisioned, what I was going to do to begin with, but I actually just adore how it turned out. I think it's the perfect little you know, piece for this wall. And I think it just goes so well with the the great, the, the shelves and the baskets. I love it. Um, so basically I've explained everything I did. The only thing I didn't explain is I did change out the knobs and I think, you know, they're just pull knobs. Got them at Home Depot um, and I just think it just updates it, but it still makes it look, you know, kind of country and, you know, old and cottagey. Notice that it's not perfect. I didn't want it perfect. A little bit of the stain, I don't know if you can see, there you go, kind of came through. And I, you know what I mean? I couldn't get everything off, but I love the, you know, the Im imperfection. I think it really brings beauty to it. I'm so excited. Um, I sure hope if you guys try something like this that you will uh, tag me and on Instagram and show me, you know, different products or different projects you've done. I just think this is so beautiful. This was, you know, once my grandmother's in her home and now it is in mine and it fits me, but it, we took an old piece and just made it new again. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some ideas and some inspiration and just understand that, you know, sometimes you start out with one project and you think that's how it's going to go and it doesn't end up going that way, but it comes out beautifully. Just go with the flow and, you know, do your projects with intention. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.